I think really, I think we've had a we've had a difficult week. Um, I think after last after last Saturday, um, I said to the players that probably, you know, changes had to be made, uh, and I thought that was that was the case. Um, you know, so we've we, we've made changes and and it's made it difficult for us. But at the same time. Uh, it was something that I thought we had to do and I think it will only improve us as the games go on. Um, you know, it, it's a difficult place to come this and I'm, I'm racking my brains and I must have been here, I don't know, a dozen times and I don't know if I've won if I'm honest with you, as a manager. Um, you know, stretching back probably over... 14 years, um, always a very difficult place to come, uh, always a difficult team to, to, to play against, certainly here on their own ground. So, first and foremost, we're delighted to get three points. Um, that's what we set out to do at, at three o'clock. Um, we can look at the manner in how we've got the three points and, and start to pick spots off it. Um, but I think that's for something for tomorrow and, and, and on to Tuesday. I think tonight we accept we've got three points uh, and we build on that um, and we hopefully will have one or two more bodies back Tuesday night um, because I just do feel now that when we get the six bodies that we've got missing today, or five I think, five bodies missing today, you know, add them to what we've got here today, I, I, I do feel then we've getting a squad of what we really want. Um, because the three new boys that's come into the team uh, have certainly improved us and that's not a disrespect to anybody who's gone out, out of the club, you know. Um, I'd like to put on record, I'd like to, to thank Lovers for his services to the, to the club. Um, probably it just didn't quite work out right well enough for him but, uh, you know, I wish him well in the future. Likewise with Jack. Um, you know, we had high hopes of Jack, he's come into the club and again it's not quite worked out the way both the club and him wanted it to. So uh, I'm sure that both of them will bounce back and uh, I really, really do hope that they do well in, the, it, you know, wherever they end up now. I think if we, if we start with young Vino, I mean, Vino, uh, you know, I mean, the boy at 16 year old played at step two, probably step three, probably, I'm not sure about that, whether, whether there was in the, um, there probably were, conference, conference uh, north with, with Boston United, um, and, and there was very, very high hopes of him to do really well. Um, for one reason or another, he's probably slightly lost his way um, but you know I think what we've seen from him in the two games we've had uh, I think he he does show them contributes that he can be a very good goalkeeper you've got to remember he's still only 20 um, and that for a keeper is very very young so you know there's plenty of time for the lad to to climb back up the level and um, you know it's it's a good addition for us. Um, you know I, I just think he's he's talking, he's kicking, he's certainly fantastic. So yeah, I think we're okay there. Um, Liam, I think he played at right back Tuesday night. I think his best position is in midfield, and I thought he did all right today. Uh, until obviously we get the injury to Willow where we've got to change things about and he had to drop in at right back again um, but I thought he just he showed a little bit more ability in midfield than probably he does at right back um, you know he passed the ball well I thought in midfield and, and met a tackle or two that was good so I, again another good addition um, Becky um, again I've known Becky you know, for a few years now, and um, he certainly played for Boston when they were step three, uh, and did really well. Um, he, he dropped down, and, and he, I think he went back to Boston Town. And then he moved to Deepin, where he did excellent, really, and scored 
scored several goals and if you look at his record he's, he averages probably 20 goals a season at UCL uh, we've missed that um, uh, and we need it in the squad I think he's a he's a different dimension to Frewe and he's a different dimension to young Harry you know Harry's not been dropped today Harry's been rested um, he's uh, he's a lad that you know we, we talk highly of and we always will because the lad's done fantastic this year uh, and we'll continue to do that so um, as I say Becky's just a different dimension um, and it's competition for for Frewe as well as uh, for Harry so um, you know that's good one player I must mention today is Cobby you know Cobby's been should I say chomping at the bit at me over the last two or three weeks to why he's not in the starting 11 I've been honest with him where I said I don't think he'd done well enough uh, when he'd played or when he'd come on as a sub but that's the reaction I wanted today it's a great strike uh, and uh, I thought he probably that's the best 45 minutes he's had for us this season Yeah, certainly. I mean, a lot of people have obviously making a lot of a lot of things about the games against you actually this year. To me, it's just another it's another game and it's another three points to be won. Yeah, um, you know, it's disappointing if they have gone out of the vase today. But as you rightly say, they'll be looking for a reaction Tuesday night. Um, you know, it's difficult because it's we're going to their place on a on a surface that they play on every other week, and obviously we play on once a year um, but you know when we went to Newmarket this year in the in the cup final we, we did really well on, on, a, on a 3G so can we repeat that um, you know that's that's to be seen but uh, it's a game obviously we look forward to um, you know they beat us at home not many weeks ago and and run out worthy winners we've got no complaints about that um, so we go there there's three points at stake and, and obviously um, we want to carry on where we've finished off today and we want, we're looking for another three points because our position in the league, it's not false but it's not good enough. Um, you know, Wisbech Town should not be halfway down the league um, and that's, we've got no divine right to be up the top but we've got to make sure that we, we as a group of people work very hard to, to get in a better position than what we're in at the moment um, because it's not, it's not what we set out to do and uh, we've, got to, we've got to do better. Yeah, um, great three points today. Um, as we know, Cogano is a hard place to come. Dick said after the game that I don't think he's ever won won a game here while he's been in charge of Wisbeach. To be fair, I don't I don't remember winning a game here either. Um, so yeah, good positive result. Not the best performance from the boys. Um, I think we can hold our hands up and say it wasn't great from us, but important when you don't play well to try and get the three points, which we did. So it was good, yeah, and top it off a, a half decent strike from me. Um, yeah, so really happy. Yeah, Tuesday night, massive game against Yaxley. Um, we, we, we all know how, how bad we played against them at home. Um, so really, we, 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 owe, we owe them one. We owe the club one, we owe the fans one to try and go there and, and, and get a positive result. And obviously, last season we went there and let's not really talk about that because we know, we know what happened. It, it just it wasn't good. So we, we really need to go there and, and push on from this positive result today. And, um, and try and get a, a good result. So.